This local sports report is presented by the BFD Building Center, a proud supporter of the KW Siskins. BFD is Waterloo Region's only Rona store, and it's locally owned. At their store in Kitchener, you will find a huge range of products and supplies for any home project, including specialty fences and decks, plus friendly professional staff ready to lend an expert recommendation. You can also order online at rona.ca for in-store pickup or delivery. Drop in to see them in Kitchener on Forwell Road at Victoria Street North or visit bfdrona.com. It's the top two teams from the regular season meeting in the Cherry Cup Championship Series. The KW Siskins and the Stratford Warriors battling in a best of seven, with the winner advancing to the Sutherland Cup Round Robin. A big crowd at the Rec Complex on Thursday for the series opener. First period, it's a solid check to start the game. Blake Weidman skates over, and he knocks down Sheldon Price at the blue line. Later in the first, here is Weidman trying to open the scoring. He lets it go. Owen Wilmer with the stop and the Warriors would kill off the penalty. No score after the first. Second period it's a Stratford power play. This is Sheldon Price to Reed Oliver and he's got the first goal of this series. Oliver buries his third marker of the postseason. The Warriors up 1-0 and they strike again a few minutes later. The rebound is loose in front. There is Jonas Schmidt and he scores. The Warriors scoring two goals with a man advantage. They are up 2-0. Back come the Siskins. Blake Weidman with the puck. He cuts to the middle and it's a bullet from Blake. He gets KW on the board. They now trail by a goal. Later in the period, here comes Zach McCann. The captain rips it and he hits the post. McCann coming close, but it stays 2-1. Then it's a terrific defensive play from Riley Noble. He breaks up a good chance for the Warriors. Nice play there from Noble. It's 2-1 Warriors after 40 minutes. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by the BFD Building Center, a proud supporter of the Siskins. Drop by the store at Forwell Road in Victoria Street North in Kitchener or shop online at bfdrona.com. Third period, the Siskins looking to tie it up. Jacob McEachern breaking through. Nice feed to Ben Oliver, and he just misses. The Warriors still up by a goal, but the Siskins pull even a few minutes later. Hayden Zimmerman picks it up, and it's a beauty feed to Alex Mazuka. He puts it in and ties the game. Mazuka with his fourth goal of the playoffs. It's 2-2. Shortly after the goal, watch number 67. That's Mateo Amaral. And he scores the go-ahead goal. The Siskins storming back in the third. They are up 3-2 with 3.30 left to go. Later, it's a huge play from Zach McCann. He blocks it, stopping an empty netter. Stratford is still alive. And moments later, how about this? McCann with a point shot. Hunter Nagy is there. And he buries the the rebound. It's a late equalizer from Nagy. It's 3-3 and we need overtime. This is Ben Oliver looking for the winner. He breaks in, makes a move and it's a big stop from Owen Wilmore. He denies Oliver and overtime continues. A little later it's a crazy sequence. Blake Weidman loses his glove and stick there on the ice. Weidman picks them up. He skates in front and Mr. MVP scores the overtime winner. <laughs> The Siskins with a dramatic win in Game 1. Weidman scores at the 12.55 mark, giving KW a 4-3 victory. Here is Blake Weidman after the game. So here's how the play went in Game 1 overtime in the Cherry Cup Final. Blake Weidman, who is with us, loses his stick, loses his glove, picks it up, goes to the front of the net, and scores the overtime winner. What an amazing play. Yeah, no, it was, it was, I luckily got my stick and glove back in time before the puck got in front of the net. Uh, Silves was battling for it hard there, drove the net, puck ended up bouncing to me and open shot. What do we learn about the series tonight? I think it's going to be long. I think it's going to be hard fought. These are the top two teams during the regular season. You guys battled it out until the last day of the season before it was decided who was going to have home ice. Uh, you guys get the first one tonight, but you know, what do you think it's going to be like the rest of the way? Just like the season, uh, obviously we're both really good and fast teams. It's going to be whoever wants it more, whoever wants to work harder, take it. Who are some of the unsung heroes tonight on your club? Shout out some of those guys that you thought made a difference for you guys. Uh, Amaral absolutely made some huge blocks. Yeah. Same with Mazuka. Uh, obviously, Silves at the end there battling. He had lots of shots too. McEachern with his wheels, playmaking, and Charlie obviously behind us. Great game.